Without any further ado, George Strombolopoulos and the hour. Great warm welcome, appreciate it. Great to have you here tonight. Once again, finally, I'm here in the flesh. It's been a couple of video performances. Sorry I couldn't make it before, but I'm thrilled to be here tonight. A fantastic show lined up for you. You're not going to believe it. All the way from Hollywood, right here at this stage, Lady Gaga. Go figure. Absolutely. But it gets even better, even better. Your own dynamic duo in your legislature just next door, the Carr Brothers. Jody and Jack Carr. Unbelievable. So here's the bite. Jody and Jack Carr are members of the New Brunswick Legislature. The twin brothers have been committed to helping citizens and to making the province even better. Jody's been elected for 15 years and is now the Minister of Post-Secondary Education, Training and Labour. Jack's been elected for six years and previously had a career as a journalist and a communications specialist. In the fall, Jody will be seeking re-election for the Progressive Conservatives, while Jack will be pursuing a full-time career as a real estate professional. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jody and Jack Carr. twins issue, clearly I'm having problems, uh, we've, we've heard that you guys are the only set of twins in North America serving in the same legislative assembly at the same time. Is that true? Well, it's been said. Uh, there's some research on that. And uh, and yes, uh, in fact, we are. It's, it's quite something to work. That's just remarkable. Well, remarkable. You know? There's also been research done on twins when it comes to political affiliations. And what we've found uh, through a little bit of research was that twins are more likely to be affiliated to the same political party. Is that, is that how you guys both ended up as progressive conservatives? Uh, we don't really find that to be the case. We don't buy actually, that, that, research, no. that research stuff. Uh, actually, we, um, we feel that uh, our uh, like for the party, I guess, is independent from us. Right. Okay, yeah. well, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. That's Completely. fair. Completely. What's it like working together with your brother? Constantly in each other's shadow. Yeah. Clearly you're not competitive or anything. No, <laughs> no, actually, no. We support each other very much, uh, to the fullest, actually. Yes. We raise each other up on our shoulders or each other's shoulders. and. You know, this anything they do, this is, yeah, this is just, just one off thing. Yeah. yeah, we're proud of everything we do. I mean, uh, <laughs> well, except for maybe that. Yeah. Uh, we have heard in the past uh, something that would uh, probably support. Just let me catch my breath. Of course. Of course. Of course. Uh, we've heard that you guys are relatively collaborative, so much so that when you entered the legislature together, that you were both interested in the same portfolio, post-secondary education. Is that right? Well, yeah, that's actually very, very true. Uh, on that note, and uh, very true, um, we thought because of uh, you know unprecedented times that we would try something very unprecedented, and that's uh, that being two ministers of post-secondary education at the same at time. Very well, two yeah. ministers of post-secondary education at the same time, very much like uh, the two MLAs at the same time in the legislative assembly. We thought, or we still think, really, but we thought it would uh, it had some merit actually because jobs are so important. To people in New Brunswick. And we thought, yeah. you know, double the effort, double the results, you know, which just seemed to make a whole lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, I can see how it makes a bit of sense. Uh, not being from New Brunswick, but you know, I keep my finger on the pulse of politics, and uh, I've heard your government say time and time again that, you know, the mantra is small government, fiscal conservatism. I mean, I don't really see how you can have two ministers of post-secondary education without cuts somewhere else. Well, that's well what first off, well, no, but we don't call it cuts. Yeah, so <laughs> it's really streamlining, finding efficiency, <laughs> uh, uh, merging, merging, uh, process improvement. No, lead six, actually. Uh, it's all about a purple belt or a brown belt. 
Well, yeah, getting the best value. But, but really, no, we really tried that. Uh, we had a strategy for that, actually. We were we, lobbying quite hard. We were going to get that question, actually. Yeah, we prepared for that. And David Allward, we really pushed uh, David Allward a lot. We were lobbying for having one, two ministers. Yeah. Which post secondary education? Yes, probably. The, probably one would, one would have, have to go. be dismissed. So, so essentially, <laughs> essentially, you're going to have to fire a minister. Essentially, who are you going to fire? <laughs> Uh, we hadn't figured that out who we'd let go. Uh, so essentially, you're going to can Minister Fleming. Well, no. actually, Jack, you do a good uh, Ted Fleming impersonation, really, on that note. segue. We both do, actually. So, you know, we uh, look, I mean, this is just nonsense. <laughs> you know, uh, everyone knows how to balance a ledger, a ledger sheet. On one hand, you have, you have a bun here that's with your, uh, your bills and your expenses. On the other hand is another bun. And it has your 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 revenue, your your taxes. You you smash that together, and it's good old Angus Bull. I mean beef sandwich. You know? uh, everyone knows that, and for the opposition to suggest otherwise is just nonsense of the first order. It's just it's just despicable. It's just despicable. I'm not going to stand for this. Yeah. Uh, you know I like doctors. I mean, what's this? You know, I didn't say we we're going to put a cap on doctors. I said there's more than one way to skin a cat. That's right. That's right. That's right. I like doctors. I have a doctor myself, actually. Right. And you know, I want to thank the uh, the uh, the opposition because and congratulate them because them quoting me is the most coherent thing I've ever heard them say yet since in this legislature. Right. Something like that, George. Really. That's a pretty that's a pretty good impersonation. That's good for me. No, right. We like Ted, actually, and it's a hard job. Someone's got to do it, but we do. We do like Ted. Yeah. Yes. Even, I mean, I gotta ask this. I just gotta take advantage of the opportunity. Even in Toronto, uh, we we hear the clips, we see the media reports, and, and I'm just gonna ask you guys. Your your communications people must just cringe when he steps up to a microphone. Well, let's just put it this way: it's communications aren't the only ones that cringe, you know. <laughs> In anticipation, you know what uh, Minister Funny is going to say. I mean, well, that's, that's, well, we love him. We love oh him. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was say guy. Yeah. Without so, question. Really. So you, you guys are moving on. Other things. Well, it's a, really you're right. Yeah. So you, this is a moot point anyway because I'm I'm moving on. Yeah. Uh, to a full time uh, career in uh, real estate and right. uh, looking forward to that this fall. So if you guys are getting on to the kind of next phase. <laughs> Club, yeah. on to the next phase. My tie is blue, but my face is red. I mean. <laughs> next phase of your life, clearly you're going to be a, a real estate professional, shameless plug. Uh, you're probably going to be premier before we know it. Yeah, and don't consider uh, that a shameless plug at all. <laughs> so, diverging paths, but still dress the same. Um, well, no, not at all, George. Uh, we don't dress alike. We're, in fact, we're individuals. Same suit, same shirt, same tie. You guys are dressed alike. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's clear this up. Yeah, let's clear this up. Uh, Jody doesn't know anything about fashion. Um, I'm wearing a nice Italian wool blend suit here, silk tie, you know, very nice. And, Jody, what are you wearing? You're, you're wearing just a knock a polyester, polyester knockoff, uh, something that you picked up in China, one of those rolled up uh, suits, $23.99. You know, from one of your trips in China, I mean, come on. You know, I've heard you've been to China a few times. Well, George, let me answer this. You know, okay, I'm going to clear this rumor up. I've been there three times, okay? And China is the second emerging economy in the world. They've got great products. And every single one of those trips I've taken to China have been valuable. Invaluable? Invaluable yeah, to the people of New Brunswick. And, you know, it's, it's, I gotta clear that up. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. Maybe we'll get fashion there in China, for sure. <laughs> I don't think we'll fashion this up. Well, actually, we were just gonna <laughs> say, George, we were just gonna uh, say, yeah, you're really evolving in your fashion. We're glad to hear you're in Toronto, but we've noticed, we've been watching. <laughs> I'm trying to go for a bit more of a hip look. Well, it depends on who you, uh, who you want to consider hip, I guess, you know. Same outfit. Same outfit. Uh, yeah, we like the white shirt. Yeah, we like the color. Fair point. Fair point. Okay, yeah. redirect me. That's enough okay. of that. Yeah. Now the other reason, main reason you guys are here. Yeah. Book tour. Book tour. Yeah, yeah. We, we have new books. books. We have a new book. Fantastic. Yeah. I don't know where you find the time. We we'll start with yours, Jody. My brother, myself. Exactly. It's called My Brother, Myself, George. Just like you said. I'm going to take the plastic off the book. This is a brand new book. It's hardcover. Um, it's got two little mirrors here. I'm going to hold this up to you to, for you to see, and uh, I'm quite proud of it actually. It's an audiobiographical, uh, audio 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 uh, <laughs> uh, 
clearly this must be a book about you and your brother working together in the Legislative Assembly. No, not at all. This is not self-serving at all. This is all about the people of New Brunswick. This is about working together. It's about global harmony. It's about citizenship. It's about our fellow human being. More like brother as a metaphor uh, to uh, our neighbors. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's deep. Yeah. Zach, you got a book too. Oh, well, yes, I do. Myself yeah. and my wait brother. Wait till you see that. <laughs> There we go. We're so excited for this. Yes, uh, I'm very proud of this. So this one must be about you and your brother working together in the Legislative Assembly. Please tell me it is. Well, there's no denying it's about us. Excellent. You know, <laughs> there's no denying that. Myself, my brother, and it's actually a companion to to uh, Jody's book. And, uh, it, kind of, it kind of fits together, but even better, folks. Uh, Forty-five dollars individually, but yeah. together, together, Jack, get the gift. Together for ninety-nine ninety-nine, you get the. <laughs> You get the complete box set, ladies and gentlemen. But wait, that is not all. There is more. That is not all. For the extra five dollars, you get matching necklaces. Maybe I take it. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. The matching necklaces, the yin and the yang. They go together. Like BBFs. Yeah. BBFs. BBFs. Thank you. BBFs. <laughs> so these can be, or actually, no, we want to give this to you, George. Uh, we're like, we're so uh, honored to have you, uh, uh, honored to have in you here Brunswick. in Fredericton, in New Brunswick, and uh, on behalf of the people of New Brunswick, we'd like to present our books, or our books, uh, our book collectively, our book collectively, my brother, myself, myself, my brother. My own box, yeah. That's fantastic. Guys, thank you for coming. Thank you, Jack Paul, everybody. I, I promised you she was here. We're going right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, for your musical entertainment, Lady Gaga. Hi. How you doing? Are you, are you my boyfriend? Absolutely. Oh, George. Yeah. George, George, George. That's who you're talking about. Of course you Whoa.
Tonight. We will see you next time.